Hey guys, it's Nina, and today I'm going to talk about something that everyone kind of thinks about at some point in their lives, and that is love and marriage and everything that goes along with that. I don't want to make this a super long video, so I'm going to just hit basic points and thoughts on it, um, and if you would like a longer version, let me know, and maybe I'll make it like a, a series on this channel. So at some point or another, most of us have been in a relationship. And most of us have liked the idea of a relationship or thought about having one. And we, whether you want to pretend like you're an independent woman and you don't need no man, we all kind of want a man or woman or whatever. If you're a guy watching this and you want to relate, you can, you know. But we all want someone. And, you know, you can... You, you might not need that person, but you want them. You want to feel loved. You want to feel wanted. You know, you want to know that somebody's attracted to you and cares about you and what you have to say and how you feel. And you want to know that they like your body and like your mind. And you just want to feel that connection with someone at some point. Some people are against marriage. And, you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of a cynic when it comes to that. Like, I... I never really pictured myself being married, you know, I want someone to have a connection with, but, you know, in these days and times, divorce is so high, like, the percentage of divorce in America is, like, 50%, like, it's, like, crazy, like, don't, don't take my word for that, that's not a actual statistic, but it's pretty high, but, like, the idea of having that connection with someone, and then divorcing, and then going through all that paperwork, and money, and having your life like fall apart like that like that is terrifying to me and that is why I was always so against marrying I don't want that to end up in chaos and it just breaks my heart to know that so many people go through that and if I get married I want to be a hundred percent sure that that will last and one thing that really saddens me is like knowing that you know that very first spark isn't gonna really last like when you first meet someone and you're like totally infatuated with that person like you're on a such a high from love and then you know you spend so much time with that person and after a few years you know that that high is gonna fade somewhat but my main concern is that it will go out completely you know and then it's just like you're two people that have been together so long you don't want to like end it you don't but there's like really nothing in common anymore and you guys just fade off each other like you guys become so dependent on each other and like you know so used to each other that like they're there but you're not like I would give my life for this person I love this person I want to spend every second with this person you know what I mean like that's really heartbreaking to me that you know that fades over time and I just want to be on that high forever, you know? I think most people do. I don't think most people would argue with me, but love is scary. And, you know, giving someone your heart is probably one of the scariest things that happens in this world today because you're trusting that person not to break it. And, oh, most of the time they do. You're going to go through many heartbreaks before you find the one or whatever and you know that's that can lead to some very holy shit my mom's going berserk downstairs sorry but as I was saying I don't even remember what the fuck I was saying shit mm -mm -mm. oh yeah you're like giving someone that that ability to completely like destroy you and you know that can lead to some terrible consequences you know some people get so dependent on that person and so attached to that person so when they do something the unthinkable you know they can result to things such as suicide you know and I don't ever want to give someone that power over me even though that's already happened you know and it's scary but Ultimately, it's up to you to decide if you think it's worth the risk. Do you want that bad enough to go through that? You know, and can you see yourself loving this person for all eternity? Do you want this person? Or are they there just because they're convenient? 
Are you using them for some sort of filler for money or for some kind of affection that you'll just accept anyone who likes you even if you don't like them in the same way? Or is this person someone you actually want to build a life with? And I know it might sound hard to admit that to yourself, that maybe you are one of those people who is using someone. Because, you know, no one wants to be that person. But a lot of us are, whether we see it or not. You know, we, we like a person because they like us. And then you realize, you know, you don't really like that person. You just like the fact that they like you. And you just want someone to love you. And ultimately, that will end in disaster and heartbreak if you don't cut it off soon. But my advice to you is just really think about the relationships you're in or getting into or you want to get into. Do you really like that person? Do you see that going somewhere? Are you dating for convenience, for money, for love, for yourself? What are you dating for? Do you see yourself marrying that person? And if not, then really what's the point, you know? Or if you don't see yourself going somewhere with that person, then, you know, ultimately that would end. And is it really worth the heartbreak that you'd be putting them through and possibly yourself if you don't see that going somewhere? Are you just wasting time? Leave your thoughts down below and have a marvelous day. Bye!